Okay, hello, hello. Let's see. Just connect me now. Let's see, Beatriz, Sorellana, good evening. Juan Carlos, good evening. How are you? How are you, teacher? Just fine, just fine. What about you? Oh, here, I'm getting prepared to the class. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine, it's fine. So you're ready? Yes, yes almost ready. <laughs> and you, almost what about ready. you? How are you? Well, here, you know, just arriving from the gym. Oh, really? Yeah, it went today. Today was chest day. Oh, you should be a little bit exhausted, exhaust, right? Yeah, just give me a second, give me a second. Sorry, 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 I have to run. So, Juan Carlos. Oh, yes. Yeah, I was telling you, yeah, I'm just arriving right now and dinner is arriving. Oh, teacher, but uh, how do you make it to arrive to your house with this traffic? The traffic jam. Oh, the thing is this that where. Uh, when I work in the during the day, it's like uh, just 30 minutes from there to my house. Mm -hmm. And the gym is, uh, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six blocks from my house. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Very close. Yeah, that's it's good. quite close. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't have that problem. I mean, yeah. I arrived home today, 20 to eight. I had the chance to take a shower, get dressed, turn the computer on. So I got enough time. Yes. <laughs> what about you? Uh, the same routine and, and on my work. And well, I was, uh, I was finding videos on uh, Prints on 3D, 3D, no, 3D, yes, 3D. <laughs> Prints on 3D to uh, because I was like uh, trying to find if there is a device to, uh, how can I say this, newest or rockies <laughs> in the in that uh, in that matter in terms, uh, in regards to uh, learn how to produce uh, figures on 3D. <laughs> 3D. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Yes. So you have had an interesting day, that's cool. Yes, I was finding a lot of information, the, the system that they used and the how they 
make the all those uh, like uh, creations, designs, and more. Yes, okay. in Costa Rica, I guess there mm -hmm. is a, like a degree on that. That, that. that was interesting. Okay. Well, that's nice. It's great that you had an interesting day. It's always good when we get focused on the activities we perform, right? Yeah. <laughs> and Carlos, welcome. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Jose Wilfredo, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. So far, so good, teacher. Today was a typical Friday. Today was a what? A typical Friday. That a I typical live Friday? early. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I live early. So, well, I left early to yeah, my job. That's, I was about to yeah. say, <laughs> tell you that. And then I'm doing anything. I'm doing anything. Just rest nothing, and ready for the class. Okay, well, that's nice. So you could relax. Yeah, today for me it's a relaxing day. That's nice. Great. You have the chance to chill out. Yeah, I have a chance to chill some, some a couple Ooh. of hours. Man, a couple of hours. That sounds nice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, and then? I got to ride my dog and was like 30 minutes, I guess, because it's too fat. Okay, he weighed, too fat. Yeah, he wow. weighed 75 pounds. My sister's dog weighs around 98. 98, wow. Yep. How about we used to uh, Okay, run. but with, which breed is your dog? Uh, is one is Boxer English. Oh, really? Yep. Beautiful dog. Yeah, that's right. But I usually got to run with, with her because he's a girl. Okay. So he's a... Well, I don't know if we can we can use uh, family. What family for a uh, for uh, for the dog too by gender? Yeah, it's female. Okay, so you can say she. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, my I, sister's dog is is also a, a female, but it's a Labrador. Uh, but it's oh, that's heavy. a big one too. Yeah, that's right. So I usually go to run with her, but right now that I began to, well, that now that I began to work early at uh, 7 a.m., I couldn't. Yeah, I understand. But that's so bad because yeah, animals, right. they, they need their exercise. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. And they get stressed actually. Yeah, a lot of stress. And that's when they get like, you know, naughty, they start messing around the house. Yeah, that's right. They make some tricks, I guess. Yeah, rucus. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, they do. They're beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I got a little dog. Well, my wife does. She's got a little dog. The thing is like this. Short like this. Man, that little thing. <laughs> Sometimes but... pisses me off. Every other day, I'm <laughs> mad at the dog. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, someone is talking about me. So... Yeah, yeah. The thing is this, that... Uh, my, my, I have to, I have to leave early the gym because I have the class. But my son had a meeting because tomorrow he's got two fights. Oh, wow. he's, nice. he's got a fight early in the morning, and if he passes that one, he's got a fight in the afternoon. 
but that's for a championship. Oh. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And that it goes by category, right? Yeah, he's in the 145 pounds. 135 pounds, okay. 40, 45. 45, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah but he's been, his problem is that he's been dealing with the with the weight. Because ah. his problem is that he ain't got no fat no more. Mm -hmm. Everything is muscle and that's a problem because, I mean, what do you lose? Yeah, that's right. That's right. But you couldn't lose so, muscle. Yeah, so he's been starving all week. Yeah, and that's, that's right. That's that's not good because they when he's got a diet, they got me in a diet, and that's not good. Yeah. I know what you mean, teacher. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, most often of that, he fight, he win. Uh, actually, this is his third fight. He's got one draw. He's got uh, one lose because uh, it was uh, the problem was that he wanted to continue the fight, but he had received three low kicks. Oh, okay. You know what I mean by low. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, so the the, the his his trainer, his teacher told me no, no more. Because I mean, the, it's no good. I mean, the other guy was here in the same spot. Yeah, maybe the yeah. other guy made intentionally. Yeah, so why risk it? Yeah, better yeah, that's it, right. Better let it go like that. Yeah, yeah. That's right, teacher. That's right. But well, nice to hear you. Yeah, we'll see what's up tomorrow. And the worst thing is that I won't be able to go last year. Um, you have to work. No, my problem is that tomorrow I got exams at the university. Oh, uh, really? Yep. Oh, I remember that you told us that you uh, I study your new career, right? Yeah, so I got exams and I'm not gonna be able to. So I'm just gonna be here waiting for them to tell me what's up. <laughs> yeah, but you could record it. Yeah, that's what I will ask for, a recording uh, of it. Yeah, that's right. And then you can watch it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But you have to be focusing on your exam. Yeah, I will. I need to. Yeah, and I, I know. Got a, an exposition, so it's going to be complex for me to nah, make an exposition for you. I guess that is a piece of cake. Well, to be honest with you, I got two, two expositions, two different topics. Yeah, but the, you know that the thing, it's something the thing is like, this. like Yeah, the thing is this. Uh, everybody who's going to be listening to me are teachers. And on top of <laughs> that, yeah, and that's extra stress, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, I know. And on top of that, I don't know why, but, uh, you know, I always, always, since I was a kid, I have always got uh, nervous. The same happens when I got exams and stuff like that. I get stressed right before it. When I am at it, I'm cool, no problem. But uh -huh. before it, I am like stressed. I don't know why. What's wrong with me? <laughs> but it's gonna be a virtual or that's virtual. gonna be face to face. Virtual. Virtual. Yeah. Okay. So you have the opportunities to to paste some banner in front of you. Yeah, with I mean, some, some with some words because I guess, well, that's my my opinion. When you are uh, make an exposition, maybe you don't need the complete paragraph. Maybe you only need one word. Yeah, the only problem is that one of the subjects is 
theory. Actually, that's the name of the of the subject. Uh, theory. Yeah, education. No, theories, theories of education. That's the exact name. So uh, what I'm going to expose is the exactly that, the theory. And uh -huh. that's complex because it's uh, 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 it's very specific language, uh, pedagogic language. And I mean, it's going to be like, what, 20 minutes? 20, 20 minutes, minutes I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be getting everybody asleep. And have you have you have you made a mock exposition to measure uh, how many minutes you need for it? That's something funny, as you said. Usually, what I whenever I have to make an exposition like that, what I do is I just write down little ideas and I go. And I explain those little ideas and I am huh. checking the time according to it. I mean, there was a time when I was studying uh, uh, speech. Yeah, yeah. So there are certain techniques that actually helped me out. And, but the thing is this I'm, I was used to give speeches uh, in front of an audience. So, you know, uh, I learned how to use body language, which helps and some movements that also help but this is sort of different because i'm gonna be teaching but not teaching eh, later at night i will solve it i will solve yeah. it i will prepare a couple of slides and see how it comes yeah but the time is not something that really worries me yeah, really, that's right i mean when you start in, talking and talking and talking, you don't feel the time passing. Yeah, that's right. And which university are you studying? Uh, Universidad de Salvador. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I will. I will try to. Uh, how do you say that? I will try to submit my form. Why? I, uh, I will try to subscribe it. To enroll. To enroll. Yeah. Oh well. Well, I will make my enroll process. Enrollment. At the university. Yep. That's nice. yep. Do it. Do it. I like the challenge. Yeah. You know, in my case, it was good because the opportunity presented itself. Uh, I wasn't thinking about that, but the opportunity presented itself. They opened a new program. This is a project, and they gave me the equivalences of three years. Ah, that's nice. Yeah, so I started writing the fourth year of the career. Oh, that's really so, good for you. Yeah, sure. Because you years, advance a lot. Yeah, of course. But I cannot miss any subject. I cannot take <laughs> out any subject. I cannot flunk any subject. I need to take them all straight out. Yeah, you have to make the double effort. Well, the double yeah. effort. Double effort. Yeah, double effort. Yeah, but you know, teacher, it's fun. you know that the effort, uh, ha well, at the end, you yeah, will yeah, have yeah. your own award yeah, you get results yeah you get yeah. results but it's funny you know because i'm studying at in the in the in the santa ana branch oh really yeah and i live in san oh. salvador <laughs> yeah that's funny that's funny but and the thing is that you know i got enrolled i got enrolled in the santa ana and then one week after i got enrolled the one in san salvador told me hey look we can get you. And I was like, man, I'm there already. <laughs> Come on, something happened. Yeah. Sometimes happened that. Yeah. And, and it's, it's really stressful, but now that you are on the way, you only have to continue. Yeah, I will. Well, mister, thank you. Nice talking to you. Oh, thank you, teacher. It was a pleasure. Hey, guys, let me get the attendance. Wow, I got full house. This is so good. Cool.
Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sebastián Medías. Ana, Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Eliana Giselle Cáñez Escobar. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Thank you, Roxana. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Here, mister. Suleyma wow. Iván Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay. Hey, Steven. How are you? Hi, Mr. Guretti. <clears throat> How's everything? Uh, um, ah, how can I say? It, it's, a, it's a really long day, mister. Actually, oh, really? I'm driving, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Let me know when you get uh, to the hotel, okay? We can talk no, don't today. worry. Right now, I, I, I stop it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so a long day. Yeah, and it's continued. <laughs> <clears throat> well, at least last night you had the chance to, to relax a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. The only so, problem is that in your job you gotta pay it. And today you <laughs> have to pay it. That's the truth, mister. But we had to get the consequences. Yeah, but you're young. How old are you? Twenty-eight. Yeah. Man, at your age, I used to go. Party all night long, <laughs> go to work, and the following day stay up until midnight. No could, could be great. Could be great, Mister. But I wish I had that time. <laughs> and I don't yeah. have that time. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Many obligations. Yeah, usually yeah. with my friends, we used to go out around around this time, around nine or ten, go party until two, three a.m. Oh, and then pretty good. go to work. Yeah, but I was young. Ah, now, I thought you. I thought you was talking right now. Now, no, man. Now I don't no. have that time. No. I'm like you. I just got work, work, and sometimes more work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the only thing I'm feeling up is stress. Uh, it's part of the life. Yeah, it's part of the life, Mister. You said it. <clears throat> okay, Mister. Thank you very much for participating and welcome. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Who else is around? Heidi. Hello, Heidi. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's everything? How was your day? Everything's going great. Today I had an assessment again. Oh, really? Wow. Huh? How did it go? It went, it went well. That's nice. How about you? I heard, I heard you were having a presentation, right? Well, I, I'm having two tomorrow. Oh, really? Yep. I got and what are you going to talk about? Well, the first one, well, the first one is administration. So 
I'm going to talk about the different types of plans, long-term plans, short-term plans, and how do you plan depending on different aspects on time, on uh, how specific you want them to be, how in general, um, it's plans, administration. That's for you, that's easy. Sounds interesting. It's, yeah, it is. It is actually. I love administration. It's nice. I like that. That area, I like it. And the older one is the one that is kind of complex because it's uh, in in my area is heavy stuff because I'm going to be talking about theory, but about methodologies. And I'm going, I am going to be focused on. Uh, how do you say this in English? Conductivism. Mm -hmm. And I need to explain how the how the theory was created, who presented it first, the who was the the best exposure of the theory, how did he work, and which uh, are the basis of that theory, and what were his experiments. It's interesting because actually he created a theory for education, but uh, he based it on experiments on, on a lab with animals. Oh, really? Yep. Conductivism started like that. Uh -huh. Sounds interesting. And yeah, and it's, it's, it is interesting because we are talking about uh, 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 rewards and punishment. How do you answer to that? And how it applies to teaching. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's quite interesting actually. But the problem is uh, I mean for me to explain it to you guys, that would be a little bit tricky because of the vocabulary. You know, in in well, all of you guys know that you got a lot of vocabulary that applies perhaps just for your area and to explain it to people who don't know about that is kind of complex. The same happens to me. I mean, uh, there's a lot of vocabulary that is specific for, for the specialty. So it's, I need to make it clearer because one of the areas that they are going to evaluate me is how do I present it and how easy to understand it is present. Mm -hmm. So I need to make uh, those terms, those some terms that are kind of complex. Yeah, I need to explain them in an easy way. In English, it's easy that uh, we call it circumvallation. When you get a word that it's hard to explain, it's hard to define, what you do is to explain it. But uh, to be honest with you, I got because of the time that I'm being working, I am more used to do it in English. So uh, I'm like, uh, this whole week I've been reading a lot and a lot and a lot of Spanish in order to get back some of that specific vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Which but... sounds weird because my, my first language is Spanish, but I mean, it's been a long while for me without using those words. So. Right now, I got. A, I will have a beautiful night. <laughs> well, come on, teacher, you're the best. Everything's going to be great. Don't worry. Um, it's not worry. It's just that I always get nervous. You know? That's that's part of me. Whenever I get a test, I get an exam, an evaluation, I get nervous. Even if I know that I have everything ready, if I have it, work perfect. I always get nervous. That's the nature of the beast. I guess that's why I got that my big stride is I get anxious. Not really. But yeah, I was telling that to to Jose Wilfredo. But right and at the moment, what's your strategy I, not to be, not to feel like that? How will you control yourself? Well, at least at least to not make it evident. How do you say that everyone? Well, what I do is simple, you know. I, uh, in order to lower down the stress, I just get main ideas, forget about it, and I don't review. That's bad for me. 
and just get straight right into it. Like, you know, I was talking about last week that uh, statistic is a subject that I hate. I had my midterm last week. I studied, to be honest with you, two hours for the exam. Mm -hmm. And I was very anxious, but right at the moment that the exam started and I started seeing what the exam was about, I was like, cool, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's just that I get anxious. I don't know why. Even if I know that I know. And you it's can funny. make questions during the intervention or no? Uh, yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's going to be fun and interesting. <laughs> it's always a pleasure talking to you. The teacher, my pleasure too. Yeah, but no, everybody here gets mad at me because I need to talk to more people. Let's see who else is around. Uh, 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 Maria Alejandra, hello. Okay, Maria Alejandra, perhaps not ready. Ana Claudia. Hello, teacher. How are you? That's fine. What's up? There's a noise. No? No, no more. Okay. okay. How are you? How's everything? I'm doing very well. It's Friday, finally. I'm just sending some emails that I was missing. And tomorrow, uh, it will be a busy day, I hope. <laughs> because I have my class for science from yeah. 2 to 5 p.m. And I haven't complete my homework <laughs> yet i had to present uh, five uh, words yeah. i had to 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 sign five words that is the correct way to say it, right i have to sign five words yeah, you can go like yes i need to i need to so oh, do this words? do this do this go like this you know what is that no, I don't, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> i haven't seen that <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Forget about it. Okay. <laughs> He's recording. <laughs> I will play again. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. uh, even though the words, they have their own sign, but he wants to spell them and sign Ooh. them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a problem. Exactly. The, the letter, oh, I find the most is the Y because that the one that you made uh, is the white but my finger my last finger is not open <laughs> it's so funny i cannot open it too much but i'm exercising my hand mm -hmm. you got a problem with this oh that is j no no i don't yeah. have a problem with, yeah no i don't have problem with that with uh, yeah. huh that is the which i which one you got you which one you no, got a the problem? y the y Oh, the why is similar signature that you yeah. made, but oh yeah, my no. god, I cannot open it. Mm -hmm. The why? Well, you you gotta practice. You gotta practice. Yes, that is what the 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 teacher, the professor, his the master, he said. I ah, you know, one thing I admire that I don't know how, but he makes. Uh, it makes him understand. I don't know if it's correct to say that. We are fighting in our mind what he's trying to say. Sometimes he needs to write one or two words, but he's making us to use our brain too much. Oh, that's the idea. That's the mm -hmm. idea. Mm -hmm. What you Very can do for your what you can do for your fingers are finger exercises mm. in order to open them. You know, you get your fingers like, like this, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. you get your thumb and your pinky, and you start mm -hmm. going like this. Uh, okay. That helps you. for them to move. Yes, to, yes. And to open a lot. It's My helpful. God. X. Okay, thank you. I will do. They are very tiesos. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, know, I don't know. Stiff. Stiff. Ah, uh, please write it for me. <laughs> yeah, I will. Steve. You're killing me here. You're killing me here. <laughs> Steve. Steve. Thank you, teacher. 
that's the word you were looking for. Okay, Steve. Yeah, but those those exercises help. Okay, I will try. Actually, I used to do them. Uh, I used to do them when I was uh, learning. Oh, how to play the, the, the trumpet? Ah, uh, like playing a an instrument, something like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, when I okay. was playing the trumpet, I used to do exercises like that because oh, they were pretty helpful. I didn't helpful. know you played the trumpet in the past. I used to play the trumpet and I used to play the trombone also. My God, you are a surprise box. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. A box of surprises. A box of yeah, surprises. But I was, I was young. I mean, I had a, a actually I had two musical teachers. Mm -hmm. and they taught me a lot but it was just for fun because actually i never played like in i wasn't learning for like a bandas de guerra or stuff like that oh, uh, okay. yes. actually my my yes. friends my friends were well my friends were playing in 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 musical bands you know oh, okay. regular musical bands but back in the days when i was young i mean uh groups from here what was the name of that uh, La Raza Van. Uh, yeah, I used to, yeah, I used to go out with them and they, and one guy who was in the same group, uh, he was a, a music teacher and he taught me. Mm -hmm. So I learned to play a couple of instruments. It was fun. My God, you have some, some, Amazing yeah, stories I'm, that you I'm can too imagine. Old. I'm too old. I'm too old. That's why. Come on, teacher. You are still young. Yeah, but I haven't slept in years. <laughs> well, so I used to. I used to take advantage of all that time. <laughs> My God, yes, you're right. You haven't slept. Hmm. Yeah, that's why. Anna Claudia, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Oh, okay. Before we move on, I'm sorry. I always explain the the, the, the agenda. Let's see the agenda for tonight. We have three presentations, right? Uh, we got three presentations. Who presents tonight? Irene, uh, Francisco, and okay. Francisco, do you present tonight? I'm not sure. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Mr. Rivas, you present tonight also? You presented this uh, tonight. And Suleim. Yes. Francisco, Mr. Rivas, Suleima. Who's going to present on Monday? Uh, uh, uh. Well, never mind. So we get the presentations. Uh, we will have one in a few minutes. Then we will go. We still we're still missing two slides. Do you remember from the PPT that I have? The easy PPT that I prepare for you. And don't worry, today when we finish, I'm going to send it to you guys. I'm going to make it into a PDF and I'll send it to you. And then we are going to work also in the manual, in the Insafor manual. Uh, we have a reading exercise, very interesting, actually. You will have a situation, a small exercise, and then the rest of the, the presentations, a little bit of conversation, and that's it. So let's see right now. Uh, Francisco, you ready for your presentation? Uh, give me a, a second. I prefer a computer okay if you want you can do it later mr rivas perhaps can present right now that's not a problem okay so if you want to share it's it's open right now so you can share it's activated okay so Sure, I was thinking to send you the, the presentation on WhatsApp. Oh, that's okay. You can do it. Okay, let's do that. Okay. 
Ascoltiamo. Ascoltiamo. Okay, I already sent the presentation. See. Let me just open it. Okay, hold on, guys. Hello, teacher. Just a second, just a second. Okay. Okay, right now I got it. Let's see. Suley, Michael, have sworn that you sent me your info, but I don't find it. I sent uh, my presentation by email. Yeah, believe me, I'm looking for it. I can send you please send it, send the send it back. Please, please do. Okay. Okay, right now uh, we are going to present Mr. Rivas. Let's see. Okay, Mr. Are you ready? Okay, so I'm ready. So, hello. Guys, so I will share so my presentation that is music of Latin America. So can you please click on the next? Okay, so the music, the music of Latin America refers to music origin. Sorry, let me close this one. Music originating from Latin America, namely the Romans speaking regions of Americas. Latin American music also incorporates African music from enslaved African people who were transported from West and Central America, sorry, Central Africa to the Americas by European settlers, as well as music from the indigenous people of Americas due to its highly Syncretic nature, Latin American music encompasses a wide um, variety, variety. variety of styles, including influential genres such as cumbia, bachata, merengue, rumba, salsa, samba, song, and tango. Next one. 
So the first one, so that is most common. So it's salsa. It's a genre of music that is based largely of Cuban, Puerto Rican, and Dominican popular dance music, uh, occasionally incorporating elements of rock, RIB and funk. And next one. So the merengue. So merengue is a type of music and dance originating in the Dominican Republic, which has become a very popular genre throughout Latin America and also in several major series in the United States with Latino communities. Merengue was developed in the middle of the uh, 180s, originally played with European stringed instruments in banduria and in guitar. Years later, the stringed inst instruments were replaced by the accordion, thus confirming together with the guira and the tambora, the, the instrument the instrumental structure of the typical merengue ensemble. Next one. Okay, and the last rhythm that we have, so actually is, is the most common, is a dance oriented music genre popular throughout the Latin America, which began as a courtship dance practice among of the Af African population of the Caribbean coast of Colombia and Panama, but later mixed with American and European instruments, a step and musical characteristic. So those are the most common uh, rhythms that we have here. So as you know, so it's like the cumbia is, so we're represented by, so one of the most popular uh, orchestra and also single. So actually pass away. Aniceto Molina was one of the, the principal of this rhythm. Actually, so he, is, he was not from El Salvador, but so was one of the representative of this genre. And that's it. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yes, let's see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I got some words. Yeah. Enslaved, enslaved. Enslaved. Okay, now here, look, after comma, no capital, do. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Sure. Do. Uh, variety. variety. You can say variety or by variety. Variety. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gerons. 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 Oh, it's Gerons. Gerons. Yep. Okay. And let's see. I, I think that is a strange. That's the ones that strange. I strange. Yeah. A strange. Yeah, no, but actually structure. 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 Okay. Structure. Okay, let's see. And that's it. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sure. To you, my friend. Let's see. Uh, Francisco, are you ready? Hi, right, teacher. Oh. Teacher, a uh, uh, I can share show you my uh, my screen. Yeah, you're able to share right now. I I set it up so you can share. Okay, good. Hello, everybody. Can you see the, the screen? Yep. 
Okay. Well, uh, I share with uh, yours uh, a little bit uh, topic science. Uh, in these times, I talk uh, to you about Um, sorry to share. I... Okay. Uh, the sun on her unlimited clean energy. Well, on this occasion, I am going to talk a little about one of the most ambitious and scientific project that is behind Carry Up now. It is the construction of the largest nuclear fusion generator in the world. It's named ER. But what is ER? ER is an international alliance that will involve 35 countries for the construction of a hill test reactor in the south of France. It is expected to be the last step in showing that the nuclear fusion can become a reliable energy source in the second half of these centuries. And how does it work? The basic idea of Peter is to take a king of Israeli gas, heat it to over 100 million degrees until it's for a thin bitter cloud colored plasma, and then control it with powerful magnet until the until the atoms fuse together and release energy. Nuclear fusion is an uh, attempt to replicate the sun process on her, and that because it's the name of the presentation, and not to be confused with the fission and reactive waste. But what is the, uh, the big problem? Uh, at the moment, the plasma cannot be kept stable for longer, uh, a few seconds. And to generate this plasma, the generator consume, consume more energy that it generates. To the, the complex process is requiring new materials that are still in the testing phase. Uh, for example, the image uh, that uh, uh, presentation is, the image background is the real voltage, the, the plasma into the into the uh, reactor. But in this test, uh, the, the plasma uh, is uh, only stable for five seconds. But in the, in the time uh, for a scientist is, is, is uh, much time. Uh, but the help, if it will work, it will become um, of the greatest advances modern technologies seen is will be able to provide unlimited clean energy, although the path to this new technology seen distant at the almost unreal. Let's have seen of the other advanced and previous summit only uh, on science fiction, such as the space travel or in uh, internet. For the last, I share with you uh, a phrase for, uh, Secure and say that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Okay, guys, is that okay? Now I got a few words for you, my friend. Okay, teacher. Okay, unlimited. Unlimited. Yeah. Then the you got a phrase that is being that is being alliance alliance okay reactor reactor yeah south south then uh, let me be texting so everybody can get them a second please and then you got a uh, century after century, we got time. And this one is a tricky one. Hydrogen. 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 
Okay, teacher. Release. Release. Attempt. Attempt. Uh, Do you hear this? Stress? Attempt. 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 Okay. This is longer. 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 Then face. Face. And then unlimited. Un unlimited. Unlimited. Okay. Okay, okay, well, thank you. No, thanks to you. Quite interesting. The science is very, very interesting. Okay, now let's see, guys. Now comes the the part that I know that is being kind of tricky for us. We need to solve the two slides. And do you remember the ones that we've been working with on the presentation? Just let me get stop. Okay, I'm going to present to you the last two ones that we need to work as yesterday, working groups, we're going to solve it, but I'm going to give you the conditions so you will work just with the result, okay? That way we are going to do it fast. Before we move on, my gosh, time flies. We've got a lot to do tonight. Uh, 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 let's see. Let me get the attendance one more time. Please. Uh, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Uh, Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you, Fernando. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Okie dokie, guys. Let's see. So let's jump right into it. Okay, the first one, conditional sentences. We have no ladder, so we can get over the wall. Just for you to remember what we are doing is this. If we had a ladder, we could get over the wall. So you will have one, two, three, four for you to work on. Let me share with you the, the image so you can jump right into it. And Solve the exercise. Let's see if we can make it a little bit uh, this. Okay, here we go. You got it already in the WhatsApp group, guys. And 
now let me get you into groups. You will have five minutes for this exercise. Let's try to stick with the time because we got a lot to do tonight. You can see groups are created. Uh, yeah, but I need to change. Okay. Groups are created. Please jump in five minutes from now. Irene, Irene. Hi, teacher. Correct me, Irene. Did you expose already? Yes, last. Oh, yeah, Monday. yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm just taking my notes. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I, I wrote your name in a little tiny word, so I, I couldn't check it. Okay. I, didn't, I hadn't seen it. Okay, okay, never mind me. Thank you. You're welcome. Heidi, I don't remember if Heidi exposed them. Yeah, Heidi was the first Come one. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you were the first one. No worry, mm -hmm. Heidi. There's going to be a, I mean, you can expose again. We will have time. Really? And Heidi goes like, no. No, I prepared it. No, we are going to do uh, some activities for the rest of the days, different activities. But we're still missing some people to, to have their presentation. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll leave you. Okay. Um, the first one I think if we had saw the finals, we could have uh, uh, stopped. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, always with the third condition, right, teacher? Yep. So. In this case, yep. Oh, we have seen. Okay. We have seen the sign that we could have stopped. We will be right uh, or correct this way. The result we could have stopped. I. I, I would, would have. Uh -huh. I will have. Oh, hi. Oh, that's Maria Alejandra. Hi, Maria Alejandra. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Waiting for the hi. raining. <laughs> uh, it never rains. <laughs> Maybe tonight. Maria Alejandra. Oh no, you uh, did your presentation already. Yes. Yes, there I guess there no. No. Or those Thursday. Tuesday. Maybe. Uh -huh, Tuesday. Yeah, but Marcos hasn't. <laughs> right, Marcos? <laughs> yeah, right. You got for Monday, Marcos. Uh uh presentation. Yep. No, I already did my Let's presentation. See. Yeah, I talked about, uh, about a place in Peru. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. You made it uh, on a Friday. Mm -hmm. yeah, crazy. <laughs> The beep is broken over. No, the tree that if I'm sorry, Ada, you go for Tuesday presentation. Tuesday, okay, teacher. Yep. Yes. Ramon. Ramon, you go for Wednesday. Hello, Wednesday. Yep. Is that okay for you? Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Monday, I, I, if I, if I have a problem with that, with that day, let Monday, you know. I say. Perfect. Let you, let you know then Monday. Excellent, excellent. Sure, I have doubt with this one with the number seventeen. I don't know how to use it. So how to modify once we have like those kinds of. If English people spoke slower. Mm -hmm. Okay, so actually, so is the ones we don't see like any negative form, so we can change it. So like in this case, that is very quickly. So I spoke slow. Very I sent you the, in the WhatsApp, I sent you the condition for you to oh. write the... Check it out, check it out. Yeah, sorry for that. I am so you, you got the idea how to do on the result? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now yes. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Agent. 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 Mm -hmm. Danny. Hello. Sorry. Danny, you got uh, Thursday next week. Okay. So you uh, just came here to visit us to say, Danny, you're next. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. The second is wool. It's wool plus Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Roxana, my dear, I got some beautiful news for you. Tell me. So just look at my smile. I cannot restrain it. I can't? I cannot restrain my smile. Mm. Yeah, there are such good news. You go for Monday. Mm. Okay. Good news. Yeah, great news. Great news. I agree. Yeah, sure. You see, Fernando is with you, Roxana. <laughs> okay. That's for you. I mean, you don't do nothing on your weekend, so you can think uh, Yeah, about okay. Percent. Yeah, I mean, no obligations, nothing, just kick it. Nothing to do, yeah. Yeah, that's usual. That's why. That's why. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, enjoy your weekend, for example. Thank you, teacher. Enjoy preparing your presentation. Yeah, yeah. I know you will have fun. Yes, very fun. They are. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes. Okay, I got it. Number number.
Okay, let's see, guys. Uh, okay, we are here. So let's see, 16, I didn't see the sign out, so I didn't stop. Look, if I had seen the sign out, I would have stopped. Now, 17, what you got for 17? Let's see. Osmin, what you got? Okay, the 17. So as you have put on the chat, the first part, let's see, let me get it. So if English people spoke slower, uh, mm -hmm. I will understand them. If English people spoke slower, I will understand them. Perfect, thank you. Welcome. 18, Fernando, what you got for me? Uh, 18, I have, if she had known you were on, hosp on hospital, she will have visited you. If I had known, oh yeah, yeah, she, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, my bad, I, I did it on first person. Okay, but yeah, you are right. If she had known you were in hospital, she will, she will have visited you. Yes. Sir, uh, oh. at the end of the sentence, we can use she could visit you. She could have. Okay. She could have. Yeah. Will Teacher. it? Uh, yeah. No, no. Continue, please. No, no, no. It's just that. A uh, will expresses, uh, remember the difference between will and could is that one express possibility and the other one express probability. But could is uh, only for the past. That's the difference. Yes, who was talking to me? Sorry. Oh, it, was, it was me, sorry. Uh, I, I was about to ask uh, on the answer to the uh, 17, uh, uh, the last, uh, the last part of the, of the sentence, I will understand them. Why it yes. isn't like I will have understand them? Okay, because the condition, if you see the condition is in simple past. If English people spoke slower. So if the condition is in simple past, that means that we are talking about the second condition. Okay, present or real. Okay. If you notice the sentence, English people speak very quickly. Perhaps that's why I don't understand them. Present unreal. If English people spoke slower, I will understand them. When? Right now, in the present. Okay. Oh, yes. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Let's see, 19. We didn't visit the museum because we didn't have time. Jose Wilfredo, what you got? Sorry, the train. I couldn't unmute my my microphone. Only one moment. In the number nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. We didn't visit the museum because we didn't have the time. So that will be if we have a time, we couldn't have. Is in the museum. Okay, now look. It's past. The statement is in past. past. So in this case, if it's in past, have time. must be past perfect. If we had had time, um, we would yeah, have yeah, visited yeah. the museum. We have. Yep. We express one one possibility that could have happened before or if another thing had happened before the condition right yep. okay now guys next one we missed the train because we use an out of date timetable the sweater shrank because you wash it in boiling water 
He looks unattractive because he never shaves. The house is quite cold because I haven't got central heating. I didn't work hard at school, so I didn't get a good job. Okay. This is quite simple. The only person who's going to be mad at me is Sir Wilfredo. He's got a big girl. Well, he trims. It's different. Right, Wilfredo? Yes, the trim. <laughs> Trimming is different. You shape it. That's a whole different story. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, let me see. I just shared the, oh, the image to you. Subgroup. Remember, this is the last one. Hold on. I just share it with you. And I'll send you to the rooms right now. Okay, rooms are open. Please jump in. Danny, who were you working with? With Anna Claudia, I think, and Francisco, I think. Okay, let me send you to the same group. Jose Wilfredo was there with Anna Claudia. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I just sent you there.
Okay, let's see. Okay, sorry. Okay, we missed the train because we used an out of date timetable. Now this one goes like, if we hadn't used an out of date time timetable, we wouldn't have missed the train. Remember, it's in past, the condition, and we see also the result. Of course, in this case, we are talking about the third type of condition. If we hadn't used an out of date timetable, we wouldn't have missed the train. The next one, number 21, the sweater shrank because you washed it in boiling water. If you notice, it's simple past. In this case, second condition. If you hadn't washed the sweater in boiling water, it wouldn't have shrunk. Now look at number 22. He looks unattractive because he never shaves. Ah, this is different. Look, if he shaved, he will look attractive. Now you tell me, but this is simple present. Yeah, but look at the idea. He looks unattractive now because he never shaved. So of course, if he shaved, he will look attractive. Number 23, the house is quite cold because I haven't got central heating. If I have central heating, the house will be warm. And the last one, I didn't work hard at school, so I didn't get a good job. If I had worked hard at school, I will have got a good job. Or you can say I will have gotten. Okay. Teacher, yeah. eh, con la con shave no sería en presente. If he shaves, he will look attractive. If he shaves, he will look attractive. Yeah, you can express that idea. It's acceptable. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. Give me just a second, Claudia, that I'm in another plan right now. Okay, okay. Just a second, guys, I'm trying to solve something. Just a second, just a second. Okay, hey, uh, Claudia, copy-paste, please. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, let's continue. Now, uh, now we are going to do an analysis. We're going to do the reading. Do you remember I told you we were going to do a reading? But before we do that, there's somebody who wants to present his activity. It's time, mister. You ready? Oh, no, no, mister, I'm sorry. Suleyma, are you ready? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, cool. Let me share your presentation. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, good evening to everybody. Uh, tonight, I want to talk about an important topic for me and that is the animal abuse. Animal cruelty, also called animal abuse or animal mistreatment, encompasses behavior that causes unnecessary pain or stress to animals. 
They range from negligence in basic care to torture, mutilation, or intentional death. Some types of abuse are keep them in inadequate facilities, neglect their hygiene and health, or abandon them, not providing them with adequate food for their development and maintenance of their health, beat them, hurt them, or mutilate them. Next slide. Okay. Abandonment is the most common cause of abuse. Increasingly, it is understood that pets, pets are responsibility, not a toy. And therefore, it is mandatory to care for them with due diligence. Abandonment can be considered mistreatment if it is considered that in the street, highway, vacant lots, or enclosed animals cannot provide themselves with food, water, shelter, and protection of their health. Abandoned without any assistance, animals are highly exposed to all kinds of aggression and violence, such as poisoning, abuse, and death. The relationship between the human being and some animals is ancient. Among them, the one we maintain with the dog can be highlighted. However, today they are treated as consumer items that can be purchased and discarded at will. Next slide, please. Teacher, next slide, please. Thank you. In various circumstances, such as lack of economic capacity, changes of residence, appearance of allergies or incompatibility, their caregivers abandon them, forgetting that they are sensitive living beings and that many of these situations can be solved. Determining the number of abandoned animals in, is impossible. In El Salvador, there is no government institution that cares about the welfare of these animals. Very few are picked up by private rescuers or informal organizations, but due to the lack of interest and help, the number of animals that can have a second chance is very limited. The standard profile of abandoned animals, according to a study carried out, has the following characteristics. 50% of the abandonments, according to age, are adult animals, and to a lesser extent, puppies and senior animals are abandoned. There is no big difference between the different sizes for it to be abandoned, but only 15% are purebred, while the rest are half blood. Next slide, please. What can I do to help? Well, don't buy purebred puppies because they encourage animal exploitation and animals are treated as money factories. Don't have pets if you don't have the appropriate condition or resources necessary for their care. Feed a stray dog whenever you can. That may be his only food for days. Report animal abuse. Sterilize your pets. Adopt. Adopting a stray animal is saving life. Help independent rescuers or foundations that are responsible for saving injured animals or in deplorable situation or victims of abuse. One dollar can be the difference between life and death. Next slide, please. Where and to whom can I donate? Well, you can donate to different rescuers or organizations such as Yeka Marroquín, Beri Zamora, La Manada de Pic, Fundación Huellita Santa Ana, Naricitas Humedas Aguachapán, etc. You can find them on Facebook and Twitter. Even La Manada de Pic encourages adoption outside the country. So that pictures 
are about real cases that that foundations uh, try to help. There is so sad when we saw uh, that quantity of animals in that conditions in the streets. Next slide, please. So um, at the end, only I can say, please, let's give these angels the chance to smile again. And that's all. Um, Thank you very much. Very moving. I just got a few words for you. And let's see. Increasingly, increasingly. And in this case, look. Picked up, picked, picked up. up, picked, picked up, picked. In picked. Easy, before K it sounds as a T, okay? Okay, it up. Then, uh, oh, this one. Rescured, rescued, rescued, rescued. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, let's see, because we still need to cover one activity. Thank you very much, Ron. Well done. Okay, hold on. My bad. There we go. Okay, well, we got us a couple of questions, but due to the time factor, we are not going to like discuss them. Just for you to know, is there a specific guideline at your workplace to deal with conflicts? Uh, how should managers deal with underlying tensions and subtle? This word is pronounced subtle behaviors developing in their team. Now, this is the exercise. We have to read the following passage that exemplifies a scenario of an effectively managed conflict. Remember, we are, we are in the INSAFOR manual in page number 24, exercise two. Okay, guys? So, it goes like this. An agent from a phone tech support is talking about this situation when he started production on a new team. At the time, the branch was in the process of moving the office to a different location, causing office equipment, chairs, desks, and computers to be of bad quality and as cars. I was late that day for work. You know, how the afternoon shift and traffic was just terrible. On that particular day, I just took a random chair from a cubicle that seemed to be empty. Later, a co-worker showed up. He was very aggressive about the fact I had taken his chair. But I was not just about to give up the chair when I was in the middle of a conversation with a customer. I told him to get another chair. He must have really taken offense to it. The next time I had my coaching session, the manager of the account came in at the end and said that somebody had expressed the opinion that they thought I was a bully. She explained the business with the chair. I said I wasn't really nasty about it at all, but she said, well, we have, we've had it reported and we've got to mention it to you. The interview with employee goes on to describe the impact of the situation following the coaching session. After that, I was extremely paranoid about saying anything to anyone, you know, 
like something offensive. In the next team meeting, it was said that I was not communicating effectively with the team. I was very sad about the whole situation. I felt that there was no need for my team manager to bring her superior to scold me for something so silly. If she had told me, I would have apologized to my coworker and be done with it. The complaint was then prepared to accept the apology, I'm sorry, the compliant, there's a missing word, uh, was then prepared to accept an apology and so an apology was made. This situation continued with a bad atmosphere in the group until the employee was changed to a different team. Okay, this is the scenario. Questions about the vocabulary? Scared. Scared. Uh, difficult to find. Okay. Is there any other guys? Nasty. Bad. Okay. Okay, now the exercise also in the same, always in the manual. You have to choose true or false for the statement below. Refer to the article and correct the false information. So you will look for true or false and tell me what's the correct information, okay? So you will have just four minutes because of the time, guys. And I'm sending you right now to the group, both things, the, the text. And I will also send you the, the questions, okay? The sentences, I'm sorry, the ones that we are going to discuss. Uh, let me open the groups so you can start working. Groups are open, please jump in for minutes. Yeah. The conflict was a subtle tension developed over a power struggle at the office. Mm. I don't know. Subtle tension is tension sutil. Or delicada. Uh huh. And it's subtle, subtle, subtle. Okay, for me, the uh, first one is trust. But it was subtle. It was a subtle tension. Hmm. I don't know. For you, it's true. The first one, yeah, for a chair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah, the second for me yeah. is trust. There's just two that are false. Okay. The other party was very aggressive about his chair being taken. Hey guys. Hi. Just two are false, okay? Ah, okay. Thank you. So I think it's uh, two no, are false. No, not that one. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, the number two is true. Uh, the number one is false. No, the number one is true. Hey. Yeah, uh, chair. It's struggle. my chair. Yeah, sure. Oh, the power struggle. Mm, okay. Let me yeah. see. The complete was subtle tension developed over yeah. struggle at the office. About the incident. Mm. Sure. So the number three is true as well? Yep. It's true. Okay. It's true. The employee didn't apologize to the offended party. Oh no, that's false. He apologized, right? Let me. Let me yeah. Huh? It's false, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Number four is false. And then number five, the team manager was. No, they were. Uh, false. Five is, is false too. Yeah. Five is number is false? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. if it's false, you need to tell me what's the correct info. For us, four and five are false. Oh no, no! Look, the number six was okay. The complex oh, number was six is number okay. six is true. Yep. Oh yes. Oh eh. yes, it was resolved. Well, yes. Resolved two, under the two are general. false. Oh. Just two are false. Okay, so four and five. Are we correct? Yeah. Four and five. Oh, okay. I'm I'm sure about the six. It's false. But, uh, uh, four is false. Number five. six is true. Uh, number six. It's true. It's true. true. It's true. Yeah. It it's doesn't true. seem like uh, it yeah, was yeah, resolved. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 last. Um, the best solution is that yeah, the employee was changed to a different team. <laughs> okay, four and five. So those are false. Four and five. Okay, I guess we're done. Yeah. Just two minutes. We're gonna okay. be back in a second.
Okay, guys, let's go right straight to it. Okay, number one, the conflict was a subtle tension developed over a power struggle at the office. Let's see, uh, Maria Alejandra, what you got, true or false? True, teacher. Perfect, thank you. Okay. The other party was very aggressive about his chair being taken. Ada, true or false? It's true, teacher. Okay, the employee was interviewed by his manager about the incident with the chair, Juan Carlos, true or false? True. The employee didn't apologize to the offended party, Heidi, true or false? True, teacher. I'm sorry? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Let's see, uh, 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 Ana Claudia, number four. The employee didn't apologize to the offended party? False. Okay, tell me what's true then. The employee uh, did apologize to the offended party. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. the Team manager was effective at dealing with the conflict. Jose Wilfredo, true or false? Jose Wilfredo? Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't unmute my microphone right now. But it's number five, right? Yep. Okay, the team manager was, well, um, I guess that true, teacher. Okay, don't you think it could have been addressed in a better way? Yeah, yeah, because you need to hear the 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 both part of the version. Both parties in this case. Both parties. Yep. Uh, well, both parties of the version to give a better result. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they let it escalate too much. So in this case, the team manager was effective, it's false. And number yeah. six, the conflict was resolved, but the bad atmosphere continued even after. That's true. Okay, guys, the moment that I'm sure all of you have been waiting for has come. It's the end of the week. It's been a heavy week, and for Monday, Monday is going to be easy class. Don't worry. We are not going to focus that much on grammar. We are going to be speaking, okay? So Monday, we are going to be speaking. We are going to have a conversation from the manual, a big conversation. It's going to be good uh, because you're going to be practicing, and almost the whole class is going to be speaking. Just to remind you, please remember, a first section, second section, and midterm. It's due now. So if you finish it before, better. Deadline, Monday. So if you can do it before, even better yet. Uh, let me know if you have any problem with the platform so I can help you. And let me get the final attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. 
José Osmín Rivas Navas. José Present. Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Teacher Ramón Present. Thank you, Ramón. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Here, mister. Thank you. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Guys, thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Enjoy it. See you Monday. Teacher. Yeah. I have a uh, problem with the platform. Okay, stay at the end. Okay. Bye. Good Me bye. too. Good night, everybody. Night. Wish you the best for tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Okay, Jose Wilfredo, number of the exercise, please. 2.5. Oh, the sentences. You need to write the whole yep. sentence. Yep, I wrote some uh, sentences. I wrote. It should, it if, should be done like this. Look, uh, let me just. It should have been done like this, like number one. Look, if you send this letter now, she will receive it tomorrow. Or the contract. Yeah, I form. wrote like that, but I don't know why I I got a mistake. Copy paste, please. Now is now is work. The next one is if I do this test, I will improve my English, right? English with capital? Yeah. Copy paste then the one that I sent you. Okay. Perfect teacher. I don't know. Maybe let me one moment, teacher. I will try to put the period at the end. Okay. Yeah, that's work too. The next one is if she find she, she finds your ring, how much she will give it back to you. She find? If she finds. Aha, uh -huh, finds. Your ring, ring. how much she uh -huh. will give it back to you. Um. Uh, I'm sorry, Juan Carlos. In this section, I cannot have two persons, but I will send you to the to waiting room and I will call you back in a second, okay? Okay, okay, it's okay. Peggy will, Peggy will go shopping. If she has time in the afternoon, no coma yeah. in this case. Uh, yeah. Without coma, right? Yep. Yeah. Simon, Simon, We'll go to we'll London. Go to, yeah, next week if he gets a cheap flight. Without coma, right? Yeah, no coma. Mm, doesn't work. I got a mistake too. Copy paste. I just pay, place it here in the, in the Zoom chat.
Okay, now it's work teacher. Does that because I finished the unit number two? Because I have to finish the the midterm. Perfect. That's perfect. it, teacher. That's great. Thank you. Thank you Have for your night. time. Good night, teacher. Always, no problem. Teacher, sí. Sí, Juan Carlos, tell me the exercise. Es el 2.8. 2.8. Oh, okay, I know what's the problem. Sí, yo estuve escuchando, pero no, no, no escuché muy bien el problema que estaban teniendo la mayoría. It's because you need a contraction. Let me copy paste for you, okay? Okay. If she had checked the stock market reports, comma, she wouldn't have lost so much money. I will advise you to copy paste. That will be faster for you. Okay, uh, by the way, I tried to, uh, I did it in that way with the contract uh, of the rule, but uh, no, no, no me funcionó. Y le, y le puse el punto al final también. Pero voy a copiar. Voy a copiarlo y pegarlo. Veamos si nos da ahora. Okay. Ya, ya los copié, teacher. Okay, did it work? Voy a pasar estos. Ahorita he copiado, eh, los he copiado aquí y los voy a pasar al, a la computadora porque ahorita los estoy viendo de la computadora del teléfono. Okay. Pero si no, 
pruebo también eh, haciéndolo desde el teléfono, ¿verdad? Sí, yeah, o you can, uh, bueno, se puede desde la computadora, se puede accesar a la... Uh -huh. Yo, a la yo ahorita estoy en la, la computadora y aquí en la sesión desde el teléfono. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Pero ya, ya las copié entonces, voy a accesar desde el teléfono y cualquier cosa le voy a escribir, teacher. Perfecto, no problem. Ok, muchísimas gracias. Así tampoco le quito más tiempo. Gracias. No problem. Have a good night. Feliz fin de. Thank to you. Bye bye. Adiós. Ok, let's see. That's it. It's time.